night was an example of the, you know, compounding, um, compounding um, stresses, trauma um, that the people. Um, Black America has been experiencing, and this is not just Wilmington, this is national wide, has been experiencing, and to the point where anybody can only take, you know, but so much. I mean, the, the, even the way that George Floyd died with a white man of authority with his knee on, our, on his back was an example of white America on black America. Your knee on your back. And we say we can't breathe, and we say that we need, we say that we need water, we say we need essentials. And all we to continue it was more pressure, more pressure. Um, so it was, it was evident, I mean, it, it was going to, it was, it got to the point where I don't know how much more he couldn't take, which is why his life was lost. Black America can't take anymore either. And this was the, our children, our babies are saying this. Our babies are saying that. And so we know that we got trauma here in Wilmington because the CDC came in and said that we were in an epidemic of trauma dealing with our children and now the pandemic. Um, so this here was just like anybody else. When you're angry, you might break something. Well, we broke this. And then you fix it and then you address the anger and you try to heal that anger. We now need to heal that anger. We can fix this brick and mortar. You can paint this back up. Okay. Um, people knew about it, you know, but we so have to address the, 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 the root cause of what caused the anger and heal the people. So I'm, I'm looking forward to working with anybody who, and there's a lot of people out here, you know, for all different walks of life with different ideas and solutions because it's no just one answer. But we have got to come together and start implementing instantly, you know, resolve to the trauma and the hurt that our babies are experiencing. Say it again. Again. What do you believe uh, police departments around the country do? Well, they got to treat they got to treat the community like they're human beings. I mean, um, it didn't need four men to hold that one man down. You know, treat them like human human beings, and and it, um, they did. It didn't need uh, four for the, the, those two men to shoot the brother who was just jogging. Someone who was bird watching and she just, just automatically sees him as a threat. See, it, we're, it's, we're human beings. Um, and very, very vital to this country. I mean, a lot of our skills and talents of our ancestors is what built this country and still are building this country. We're the, we're the essential workers that kept America going while we were dealing this pandemic. So all we want to be is, you know, since we've been brought into this country, okay, we have made us, have come in and made ourselves a way of, of, of living, but it's to get your neck, your knee off our neck and allow us to um, to grow and thrive like anybody else. There, there are a lot of institutionalized policies that need to be changed so that this type of thing doesn't happen and people get away with it. Not just in the police force, we know the criminal justice, you know, we know there's many, many cases of black men or people who have been prosecuted harder than a, a white person who could have been at the same crime. Those institutionalized policies has got to change. Um, and there's other ones throughout our sy system that are sy systemic. Um, so yes, many policies that need to be changed.